Well, we'll I'm going to bring on our, uh, our warm-up guy. Um, I don't know what other name to give him. So can I have a massive round of applause for Peter Merriment? Oh, lovely. Hello, Garnabooks! Wow. It's lovely to be back at Garnabooks. We were here last year. God, I know you've been doing super. They can't tell you. It's on the telly. Live at your follow. Do you remember when we were after COVID, after the lockdowns? And they, and they couldn't film I'm a Celebrity in, uh, what was it, in America, in Australia. They couldn't film it there. They, and they said, oh, you're going to do it in Wales. Not true. It's still here. Look, it's still here. It's true. It's all true. They can't tell you that. They can't tell you that in the edit, you know? It's all filmed here. Look at the camera as well. Guys, so, uh, yeah, you see that, the news, the news, you're watching the news, you're watching the news, the, the, the yeah, like, anyone who read the newspapers, you ever picked up the newspaper recently? You told me that no one really remembers Metro, oh, the station, that Metro, yeah. So, uh, I do topical comedy, so, like, obviously I'm not doing a full show tonight, I'm just doing a little bit of the top of the show, but, um, hopefully, if, uh, I'm, I'm really good at writing jokes, but I'm really bad at admin. So uh, I, I haven't booked myself into a lot for Fringe, but possibly I'll be doing a show here or the museum next week um, if the lot for Fringe let me there just for very, very late. So if you like it, um, I'm going to, I think I can't stay till the end of Joe's show, I've got to do a gig in London, uh, and you know the trains are all up the spout today, so um, at the end I'll probably leave some flyers here or something like that, maybe at the end of each row. And if you want to come and see me next week, it will be here or the other place. You can check the Watford Fringe website. You can check the, you know, the Facebook, everything like that. It's cool. But so I'm like, doing like, a little bit of a little teaser of my show. And if you like that, you know, come along. But um, so uh, obviously I'm in Watford. I'm in Watford. I've got to talk about Elton John. Elton John, who's seen Elton John live? Who's seen Elton John live? I'm all back row. They've seen him in the toilets in uh, in the high street in the Lewis. What's the one that's in the Lewis? Don't touch me, Lewis. No, don't like the Lewis. The old Lewis friends. Lewis. 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 No, so uh, Elton John, Elton John, I did it, I did it, I was very, I was amazed, I was very, very pretty, so I did a gig with him in a park in St Albans, like a big festival in the summer, and he comes up to me, he goes, oh, you're a comedian, are you, you're not going to do any jokes about me, are you? I said, no, 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 I've got like one, one little joke about you, so, so you know, it's, it's not hilarious, it's not even hilarious, it's, it's a little bit funny, but, uh, <laughs> no, so, um, he's retired now, you can't see him anymore, you guys see him in all time, see anyone, 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 so um, you can't see him anymore, he's retired. The next best thing now is an Elton John tribute act. That's it. And um, I, I, again, I saw one of these at a, a different festival. Um, his name was uh, Elton Johnny. Elton Johnny. He was toilet, honestly. He was toilet. <laughs> they're not all puns, don't worry, they're not all puns. So, um, yeah, like I said, I did this show in Edinburgh, and it went really well, so I was going to do it again. Um, I did like a style of a bit of music and a bit of um, celebrity and sport, and then like, ended up with politics. I'm not going to do the politics tonight, I'm only doing a very short bit tonight. So, um, uh, Elton John, obviously, yeah, you know, do, do, last month, I don't know if you've um, any hip hop fans in. Yeah, a few people, yeah, yeah, what's your favourite hip hop song? On the spot, mate, on the spot. Biggie, Biggie, yeah, Biggie, yeah, 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 go Sean, go Sean, it's your birthday. Uh, last month, well, I was in Edinburgh last month, it was the 50th anniversary of hip hop. You know, they, some, a guy, 24 year old guy at the Bronx in New York, he, he mixed the two records together and he created hip hop. And, you know, obviously it's been an amazing industry and it's been in Japan, loads of records and that. Um, so, the radio, BBC Radio, BBC two, News, Television, they're all trying to do like, um, little, you know, these little clips at the end of the, news, at the end of the series stuff and things. Hip hop and all sort of thing. And they, they try to interview this guy, but he's, you know, 50 years ago, he was 24 then, he's 74 now. He wasn't available to do the interview on the day of the anniversary. He went into a um, hospital, you know, very sadly, at a hip hop person. <laughs> they're not all puns, don't worry, they're not all puns. It's serious, hard cut and political stuff. They're not all puns. <laughs> And of course, music, uh, again, very sad in July, in the summer, Sinead O'Connor died. Sinead, that was really sad, wasn't it? Really, really sad. And it's extra sad for me, because I used to go to the same hairdressers as Sinead O'Connor. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, so sorry. Uh, yeah, I used to see her twice a month at the hairdressers, every 
every seven hours and 15 days. <laughs> sorry. sorry, I'm so sorry. RIP, RIP today. And at the beginning of the show, get the RIP to that, the, the obituary bit of the show at the beginning of the show, get that out of the way as well. Michael Parkinson died, didn't he last month? That was really sad. Seven years, seven decades in broadcasting. Broadcasting hero, he's, he, he's everybody, he's set, you know, work for everybody. He's on BBC ITV, he interviewed like Billy Connolly and uh, Muhammad Ali, George Press, so many famous interviewers, you know, and he was known for doing these fluffy interviews where he would ask the soft questions and the comedian Billy Connolly would go into it and do his routine and the same with Ali and George Press was just completely drunk. But um, every now and then he would do a serious interview. In 2006, Saturday night ITV, he had Tony Blair on the show, and Tony Blair was at the end of his prime ministerial reign, and uh, he was under six, was it the war in Iraq, you know, following George Bush in like a puppy dog, and Michael Parkinson, one of the first questions he said to him, he thinks he's going to be a froth he goes, um, how is your conscience on invading Iraq in that you know, and, and uh, Tony Blair, in a very religious Roman Catholic, he said, God is my judge. God is my judge. That is the question away. I thought, hang on a minute, Saturday night ITV, Simon Cowell was your judge, guys. Simon Cowell was your judge. Simon Cowell. And talking to Simon Cowell, Britain's got talent this year. Anybody watch it? Anyone watch it this year? It was run by a clown, wasn't it? A comedian clown. I've met him in Edinburgh. He's a, he's a really nice guy. He's a very funny guy. Don't tell me jokes, but he's, he's very good at going to see him if you can. He's not at all. I'm not his agent. But, um, People, people are complaining online, you know, there's dancers, there's singers, there's, like, you know, the, the acrobats and magicians. Like, why, why are people voting for a clown to win Britain's Got Talent? And I thought, well, you know, people voted for a, a clown in, in Downing Street in 2019, so... Down, swings and roundabouts, I'm not going to do the politics tonight, don't worry. I'm going to do a bit of sport before I go. Um, we we like football. We like football. Football people in, football people in. Um, big flipping story in the summer, Harry Kane has finally left Tottenham, he's moved to Germany to learn how to take penalties properly in important matches. <laughs> the Spurs fans, I mean, he's been there all his life, Spurs fans are in denial, in denial. You ask, you ask the Spurs fan what shirt number he wears in Germany, they go, NINE! NINE! They don't want to know, they're not all punks, they're not all punks. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Harry Kane's on there. What about the women's World Cup? Women's World Cup oh, fans in, yeah! Women, the Premier, the Women's oh, Super League. The better than the men's. They do better than the men's. They got to the final game where they got, they won the Euros uh, on the home with Wembley, and they went out to Australia and New Zealand, the, the tournament was held over there, and um, they got to the final against Spain. But Spain had the advantage in the final, and I'll tell you why. Because Spain played their semi-final on Tuesday, and we played our semi-final on Wednesday. So the Spanish had an extra 24 hours siesta. <laughs> They're not all punts. <laughs> so, uh, no, and of course, there, there wasn't, um, up until the final, there wasn't really anything controversial during the um, Women's World Cup. So, you know, the men's World Cup in Qatar, and the sports rushing. So, the Women's World Cup, um, until the final, there was nothing. And in the final, the Spanish, the Spain won the final, beat England in the final 1-0. And uh, he couldn't get that call back at the end. And um, the Spanish president, he kissed the player on the lips, and everyone went crazy, didn't they? And he, and he totally overshadowed, totally overshadowed the the, um, the result. And the players, they didn't get any credit because everyone was talking about this kiss and why wouldn't he resign? He didn't resign eventually. For me, I, th I think it was disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. You know, feminist, whatever. I think it's absolutely disgusting. For me, there's only one solution. Is to replay the final. <laughs> I don't even know, who knows, you know. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, in the semi final, we played the host nation. We played Australia, the host nation final, semi final. And I thought, you know, uh, when we won the Euros at Wembley, we were the favourites, we were the host nation, we got an advantage. And I thought Australia are going to have the advantage in the semi final against England in the, the Women's World Cup. Um, we beat them, we managed to beat them and get to the final, it's great. But, um, Prior to the match, like the, the Australian press and the TV were building it up over there, a bit like it was like the England Germany, like what Peter Morgan used to do for the Daily Mirror. And one of the Australian newspapers, they hired a plane, they threw it over the training ground, it was a genuine thing. They took photos and they put it online of the England players training. Absolutely disgusting, again, shocking. It didn't affect the result. Luckily, we were back to the team on the day, England won the day. 
if Australia had played in England in that semi final, I would have played in, I would have been the first to do one of these online petitions, send it to everyone I know, send it to every company audience and complain. But it, it, it didn't affect us up. And I would have, if they had played us, I would have demanded that Australia were thrown out of Eurovision. <laughs> How comes, how comes Australia and Eurovision right? So apparently, uh, the seven years ago, whenever it was, there was like the 70th anniversary, and they said, we're going to invite Australia for one year. You know, they get money out of it, the broadcasting lights, everyone in Australia will watch it at three o'clock in the morning, whatever it is. And, uh, you know, and then they're still in it seven years later. Every year, Australia or Eurovision. You watch, watch, watch Eurovision? So, you know, I suppose we've all got that friend, haven't we? We've all got an Australian friend, you know, you meet them in the bar and they, they say, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm leaving the job and I'm leaving the accommodation. I just, I just need somewhere to sleep for the weekend. Can I sleep on your, on your couch for the weekend? You know, just, just a day or two, maybe, maybe two days, maybe the weekend, maybe the Monday. You know, they're still there seven years later. <laughs> we've all got a friend like that, haven't we? Because you've been a lovely player, I'm going to get off the of that. The main attraction come on, I'm going to just go out um, If I can get the admin to that, I'll be either here next week or at the museum and it'll be 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock, whatever. And it'll be on the Watford Fringe website, it'll be on the Watford Facebook social media. Hopefully I'll see you next week if you want to be on more topical stuff with a bit of politics hits thrown in. Thank you very much. Oh, please don't go away! Thank you very much. Can I have a big round of applause for Merriman? Woo!